All right, it has been a hot ass minute, has it not? Wow, a full month and some change. Uh, it is what it is. I've been lazy. I've been lazy, but I finally decided to get it together. Let's do another haul. All right, I'm headed on a road trip in a couple of hours, so we're gonna knock this out. We're gonna be real. We're gonna be real quick about it. Real quick. All right. Uh, what's this? What is this? First up, we have what is this? Wolverine 311. Uh, I believe this is a 1 in 25 variant. Like, I had never seen this cover. I bought this book. I don't know if it was a, a good buy or not. Um, I saw this book about a month ago. I bought it about a month ago. And uh, I had never seen it before. And when I see it, I'm like, oh, oh, that is a cold ass cover by Lena, Lionel. Lionel Francis you but anyway uh, I'd never seen the cover before I was really just struck by it and I paid thirty dollars I got this for thirty dollars I still don't know if it's that great of a buy I don't know I think I just got caught up in the uh, just how awesome the cover looks so yeah so we have Wolverine 311 paid thirty dollars for this it's a variant okay all right okay okay all right we're moving on we're moving on we're moving on. Ooh. okay Okay, what is this? We have uh, Giant Size Defenders, number three. Not only do I have three copies, no, not only do I have one copy, I've got, I've got two copies. I've got two copies. Uh, I would say this one is probably in fine, fine plus maybe condition, and this one is probably VG plus condition. Uh, I, this one cost me, I think, 23 and this one cost me, I believe, fourteen. Uh, I bought. I saw these about a month ago. Man, I bought. Man, it's been a hot minute. It really has because uh, I am just. I, I, I'm. I'm almost forgetting details on how I got some of these books. Really. All right. So this one, yeah. So I bought these about a month ago. All right. Okay. All right. It's all good. It's all good. It's good. It's all good. It's all good. It's good. It's good. All right, now what is this? With Batman Beyond Unlimited, number thirteen. Now this is uh, supposedly the first technical appearance of Old Lady Harley. So Batman Beyond Unlimited, number thirteen. Not to be confused with Batman Beyond Universe, Batman Beyond Unlimited. Um, I, I, I mean, I paid around cover price, probably even less than cover price for this. And uh, I don't know, for a while, for a while, uh, about a month ago, this book was going for like, I don't know, like 15 to 20. I don't know if it's going for that much right now because I really haven't been paying attention to the prices all like that. But I don't know. It, I guess it was still a good buy, you know, at a uh, at, uh, cover price. All right. Also from this same store that I picked up. Uh, okay, let's see. I picked up this and these all from the same store and a couple of weeks later i go back and look through their uh back issues and come across this uh we have black hawk 117 the first uh mr freeze prototype first mr freeze prototype hold on i gotta turn i gotta turn the air conditioning off okay I've been after this book for at least a couple of years. Every copy that I've come across has always been in just slightly off condition for the price. You know what I mean? Um, either either like a, a staple is popped or, you know, centerfold detached or just just something is always off to where I just can't buy it. But this one, this one was perfect. And uh, the price tag on it was 30 and I'm just thinking, you know what? That's an off. That is an awesome price for this. And I would say this book is probably in VG plus condition. This book is really, really nice, uh, especially for the price. And then when I take it to the counter, they ring it up at fifteen dollars. I'm like, what? What? I and I'm just like, okay, I'm not saying anything. I'm just gonna take it. I'm gonna pay my fifteen dollars and get the hell out of here. And then. Afterwards, uh, I'm on I'm on their uh, Facebook page. I'm on this store's Facebook page, and it turned out and it turns out that they uh, had like a secret half off sale or something like that. So I'm just like, oh, I thought I was being slick. 
But uh, I probably, if I had known that, I definitely would have bought some more stuff. Definitely. But yeah, this was a really good buy. I paid $15 for this. Hell yeah. I have so been after this book. Mm, mm, mm. All right. We're moving on. We're moving on. All right. What is this? Okay. Now, uh, a dealer friend of mine, he um, he got in like this really just massive collection of like 90s and 2000s books. And uh, he wanted me to kind of help help him because he really didn't know too much about, you know, like moderns. So I just kind of helped him out. Uh, and he uh, paid me with uh, comics. Uh, he offered me a lot more. He offered to give me a lot more, but I'm just like, you know what? Let me cut down on the clutter. I just want to take what I really, really want. And uh, let's start things off with uh, Secret Wars number fourteen, uh, number 114. This is the first appearance of like uh, a new generation. It's like a first. It's like the first appearance of a lot of characters. Uh, like next generation characters, I forget who specifically, but uh, I remember for a time, I'd say like maybe a couple of months ago, this book was really, really hot. Um, is it is it still hot now? I don't know, but this is a book that I was definitely after. So we have Secret Wars uh, 114. I uh, found myself another copy of Fantastic Four number uh, 348. Um, this is a really cool cover. This is the uh, second print uh, gold cover. You really don't see this that much. And this book is in really, really nice condition. I'm looking at this spine, and this spine is gorgeous. It is like the most, one of the most flawless looking spines I've ever seen. But yeah, definitely been after that. A second copy of that anyway. Um, what is this? Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man, number 27. This is a second print variant. Um, I really don't know what this book really goes for, but it was interesting enough. I figured I'd pick it up. And we have Brightest Day, number 14. Um, what I want to say about this, I, this book is really tough to find. I'm not going to say this book is expensive at all, uh, but it's just tough to find. I think just because the, the cool Batman cover. I, I honestly have to think because the variant for this book doesn't go for anything and it's like readily available. You can find it anywhere. So I have to imagine it's because of this Batman cover here. Um, I, I, and he did give me some more books, but these are the highlights. These are definitely the highlights. All right, we're moving along. We are moving along. Yeah. All right. Now, I went to the comic book store last week. Went to the comic book store last week, and I came across some comics. Uh, let me show you. All right, so we have... Uh, what is this? What is this? What is this? We have Batman Beyond Universe, number 13. Not to be confused with Batman Beyond Unlimited. So this is, the significance of this is we have the first appearance of Phantasm in the regular DC universe. Um, what, did, what else did I want to say about this? Uh, I picked this up for a little bit over cover price. I'm surprised it was still there because this book is uh, definitely hot from the last time I checked. Uh, like a 20-something dollar book. Uh, it was uh, news broke that uh, Phantasm is actually going to be in um continuity like in like present day continuity uh in the batman in the batman world so uh like anything phantasm got really hot so uh batman beyond universe number 13 first appearance of phantasm in uh decent continuity all right yeah gotcha all right oh check this out look at this look at this Yes, I was definitely happy to find... I got two copies. found two copies of Marvel Comics Presents number six. Uh, this one is definitely uh, slightly lower grade than this one. I'm going to have to put this thing in like Mylar and a, uh, and a better backing board. But um, uh, that Wednesday, I was checking eBay and seeing that uh, Marvel Comics Presents number six was like really hot, and I'm like, why? This is like the, the this, to me, this is the most unassuming book, and it turns out we have uh, another Wolverine's kid, another, another. Can this be it? 
can this be all? Can, there's four, I think four Wolverines. So we have Dokken, Jimmy Hudson, X-23, and uh, Honey Badger, I guess. You, technical, like clone. So that's four plus what's going on here. So it's five. So we have five, five extra clawed children running around in the Marvel Universe on top of Wolverine. This has to be it. This is this has got to be it. This has got to be it. Uh, I forget the chick's name, uh, but instead of having like uh, like two claws and a claw on the foot, or two claws uh, and then a claw coming out of the wrist, this is like three claws. This, this chick has three claws, uh, just like Wolverine. Uh, I think they're magic claws, but this has to be it. This has got to be it. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to call bullshit on Marvel. It's easy to call bullshit on Marvel, but I'm going to have to extra, extra call bullshit on Marvel if this is not it by way of Wolverine's, quote unquote, children. You know what I'm saying? So that's got to be it. Um, what's the story on me picking these up? Uh, I went to this and then uh, that Thursday I go to a store. It was a it was a crapshoot as to whether they would be there or not. But there were two copies there. Um, I know like the store owner. Uh, I, I, I did not. He was at the counter. Right. So I kind of had to wait till he got distracted. And uh, the um, and like one of the store employees kind of manned the register. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't they, they don't ask questions. They don't care. But if I had brought two copies uh, to the store owner, he, you know, the antennas would have been up. So I had to play it cool. I had to wait. I had to wait. <laughs> I think I had to wait around almost like 20 minutes, but it was worth it. It was worth it. I got two copies of Marvel Comics Presents number six. Uh, went to another store and got like however many copies of uh, Marvel Comics Presents number five. So I picked this up from this store as well. I uh, picked up two copies of number five, which has the cameo appearance of uh, Wolverine's fifth kid, I guess you can say. So I picked up all those. I'm going to have to put this thing in some Mylar. Definitely had to put that in some Mylar. But yeah. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Okay. We're moving along. We're moving along. All right. What the hell is this? What is this? We have... We've got uh, Batgirl Adventures number one. Batgirl Adventures number one. Excuse me while I put this book in some... In a proper backing board and bag. Excuse me. Excuse, excuse, excuse me. 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 All right. Let's put this thing. Let's try to preserve you for as long as possible. You know what I'm saying? Man, this book has gotten, has become really expensive because. Like, the day that I bought it, it was like a $20 book, you know? And I'm like, oh, that's going to go down. It's probably going to go down. Nope. Nope. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Uh, what is this? Bad Girl Adventures, number one. Uh, I paid $12 for it. Okay. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Paid $12 for that. All right. Now, this is from a couple of weeks ago. Went to a uh, convention. I guess the rest of these books are convention books. Um, now, keep in mind... That the night before this show, uh, I had my buddy's wedding, and I got really drunk, and I was really, really, really hungover. Like, this is the worst I felt in a very, very long time. And I'm talking a really long time. So, keep that in mind. I had a hangover when I went to this show. All right. Uh, what did I find? What, look at, check this out. I found uh, a copy of the Century Number One. Got that for three dollars. Got that for three bucks. Can you believe that? They're still selling uh, copies of the Century Number One for cover price. <laughs> All right. Okay. Got that for three dollars. Uh, what is this? So we have uh, Booster Gold Number One. Found two copies of that. And check this out. Newsstands. Got the, found these for a dollar. Got those for a buck. 
I'm looking at, okay, now the thing about these, I think the next, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, probably, I, I would say the next seven books here, um, like this dealer, like he, his stuff is just so overpriced, like the stuff on his wall and his other like back issue bins that, uh, like finding these books here in the dollar bin was really surprising. Like I was really, really surprised by this. Um, what is this? What is this? Static. We have static number. What number is this? Uh, static number 31 and it's a newsstand copy. Uh, Wonder Woman number 53, uh, cool Adam Hughes cover and it's a newsstand copy. A lot of these are newsstands. Um, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Justice League of America, number 34, Adam Hughes cover, that was a dollar. Uh, what is this? Uh, Masters of the Universe, number one, from DC, that was a dollar. Uh, two copies of uh, Dark Hawk, ooh, the glare, ooh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. All right, uh, Dark Hawk, number one. Those were a dollar, and I came across some uh, Archies. Uh, so we have Betty and Veronica, number three nineteen. Nothing special about that. I don't know. Why, <laughs> don't know why I bought it. It was just a dollar. Um, I, I, oh oh I know why I know why. Just because you have um, you have Betty and Veronica in swimsuits. I, that's literally the only reason. Literally, like up here at the corner. That's literally the only reason. Okay, so we have Betty and Veronica, number 347. Found this for a dollar. Now, uh, there's a store that um, I go to, like one of my regular stores, and they have this book in the case, and they have like, I think, $25 on it. And if you look it up on eBay, the book doesn't go for anything. You know what I mean? So I, but I figure it's the final issue of uh, Betty and Veronica, and I don't know. I picked it up. Uh, ba, 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 ba. We have Betty and Veronica number all new Betty and Veronica number five. That was a dollar. I don't know why I bought that. I don't know. And we have uh, Betty and <laughs> there's a lot of Archies. Uh, Betty and me number fifty five. Where, uh, I don't know, just unintentionally dirty cover, I guess. And, uh, what is this? Uh, Cheryl Blossom number one. Um, okay. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, what is this? Okay. So all of that was pretty much, all that was a dollar. All of that was a dollar. And here we go. We're moving along. We are moving along. Uh, found my third copy of Thor number 337. Uh, I paid $30 for this. And what was weird? What was weird? Um, now, this was up on uh, this guy's wall. And there was a dude there before me. And, and like, the sticker clearly said $30, right? I mean, this book is probably in very fine... Definitely not near mint. It's not... And is it white supremacist worthy? As many of you know, I am a comic book white supremacist. Is this book white supremacist worthy? Eh, nah, eh, eh. But uh, what did I want to say? Clearly said $30 on the tag. And what's weird, the guy buys a copy of Thor 390 for $40. He bought a copy of Thor 390 for $40. This book is dropping like a rock. And he paid, and this was like, I don't know, probably a couple of weeks ago. He paid $40, passed this up, paid $40 for a copy of F Thor 390. Okay, whatever, 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 whatever. Uh, so I paid $30 for this. It's in very fine condition. Um, I think... I have two pre I have two other copies. I would say one is maybe a nine six on a really if I'm really lucky, one is maybe a nine six and I have another one that might be a nine four. Might be a nine four. And eh, maybe, 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 maybe. So I don't know. I it's it's cool to have a third copy of something like this. This book is getting like hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter. 
So uh, Thor 337, also from this guy, uh, Black Panther at number two for five dollars. Um, yeah, definitely couldn't beat that price. So yeah, got this and this. All right, so first appearance of Shiri. I don't know what it is about this book. I'm so like just attracted to it. It's I hate this cover so much. But it's the first appearance of Harry Osborn, first appearance of Gwen Stacy, severely, severely, severely undervalued book. Um, what did I want to say? What what more did I want to say about this? Um, so I picked up this and uh, Supernatural Thrillers number five. I would say this book is probably in fine plus condition, maybe very fine minus. I don't know. I think I think I think I paid one ten for the set. I believe I believe I paid one ten for this set oh man i don't know what it is uh, amazing spider-man 31 all right and i guess we're gonna round things out we're under 25 minutes so far so these next books here i picked up for 50 cents a piece so we have uh heroes for hire number 13 nice modern bondage cover uh ultimates number one from 2015 Written by Al Patrick Ewing. Uh, Ultimates, Al Patrick Ewing. Uh, number two, uh, Edge of Spider-Verse. ba 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 Edge of Spider-Verse. There we go. All right, so that's my haul. I'm sticking to it. Uh, it's, I know it's been a hot minute, like I've said. Um, but I still have some more books coming. Uh, like I said, I'm headed on a road trip. So, yeah, pray for me that I can uh, find some comics, find some more comics, because I love finding more comics. More and more and more and more and more. All right, that's my haul. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. All right, bye.